Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Quantum Leap Futures Morning Leap Session for Thursday, September the 28th, 2017. My name is Doug McKay. I am the founder of Quantum Leap Futures. Each morning we get together in these live go-to sessions to take a look at the market macro to micro, take a look at the structure of the market, and then we drill down to our trade levels, our targets, and our hypotheses for the day. We do create multiple hypotheses in order to have a plan in place for whatever the market throws at us. Wait for the market to show us its hand and then execute the plan that uh, best suits the market. This is a subscription room. If you're interested in checking it out, send me an email at quantumleapfutures at gmail.com. There's no website, there's no blog. We do everything live here in the go-to during the pre-market session. Then we do live trading and analysis during the course of the trading day. Please read through the disclaimer. At Quantum Leap is a certified trading advisor. We are retail traders operating within a self-organized learning environment. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Any trades that you see in Quantum Leap are for education purposes only. Please trade your own due diligence, your own trade plan, and your own risk metrics. All right, so let's take a look at yesterday. Yesterday, our main hypothesis was a uh, responsive selling down into the value area and then somewhere somewhere between 94 and the naked deep park responsive buyers to step in and rotate us back up and come up and take out this 2505 and push put in a new all-time high we were actually targeting the 251050 which is the inverted head and shoulder pattern that we have been watching since uh, September the 11th uh, we went a little bit lower to 93, uh, but the buyers did step in. Uh, we didn't quite get to the uh, the uh, inverted head and shoulder uh, target. We missed it by five ticks, and then we rotated and they sold it off into the close. And we came down and we settled near that uh, micro composite VPOC down in the uh, 2504.75 area. Um, we talked about this yesterday, you know, and I want to point this out because this is this is basic auction logic. So yesterday, coming into the day, our overall uh, microcomposite VPOC was here at the uh, 2493.75, and uh, we that's where we started our value after the uh, the gap up. And then we went up and we put in that all-time high at 2507 and a quarter, tried to hold value at 2504, couldn't hold value, came back down to the naked, uh, the naked microcomposite VPOC, missed it by one tick, rotated back up into the 250475, tried to hold value there. They couldn't, they came down and uh, we came back, went through the Microcomposite VPOC the second time. We already pick up, picked up the late buyers. We weren't expecting them to uh, to find them there. Went as low as that uh, naked close and the naked VPOC down at 25, uh, 24, 85, 50, and 24, 85 and a quarter. Picked up uh, buyers, came up, and then they accepted value. Uh, they were accepting value higher in the last three days around that 2497 and I said watch during the course of the trading day yesterday if we get the shift of the 249375 up to the 2497 that this was a signal to get long and look for them to go up into the 24 uh, 250475 and probably put in a new all-time high and during the course of the day what happened is uh, we had this basing pattern right here when we went down. Oops, that's Globex. We had this basing pattern right here at the 97. What happened? We got the shift of the microcomposite, well, the shift of the VPOC, the developing VPOC for the day. But more importantly, we got the shift of the microcomposite VPOC from the 9375 up to the 97, this signaled the long and got us uh, the rotation up into the new all-time high. Um, so very uh, basic auction logic, but those are the, the, the type of clues that you uh, you want to be watching for. Uh, we still have that uh, inverted primary head and shoulder pattern. Uh, they failed to go up there in the 
Globex. So if we uh, let's take a look at the news. Uh, we just had uh, GDP uh, came out. Uh, the came out at 3.1, so it was a, a little bit of a beat. Um, good trade balance came out as a beat, minus 62, 94 billion versus uh, minus 65. Initial jobless claims came out a little bit uh, higher than expected. Uh, PCE prices came out uh, as expected. Wholesale inventories uh, came out uh, a little bit higher than expected. Uh, and uh, 53 minutes, we've got uh, Bloomberg Consumer Confidence, another parade of uh, Fed speakers. We've got uh, uh, George speaking uh, uh, in 53 minutes. We've got uh, Stanley Fisher speaking at 10.15. We've got natural gas. We've got the uh, KC Fed Composite Index at 11 o'clock. And then we've got the seven-year note at uh, uh, 1 o'clock and then at 1.30, we've got Bostic speaking. A lot of Fed speakers uh, this week, and they're sounding uh, more decidedly, I think they sound more hawkish than anything, but uh, this market just seems to, uh, to like what's going on. Oops, come on. So <clears throat> taking a look at the macro to micro, I always like to start my day taking a look at the monthly. I'm working my way down. We're still in this, uh, this upward sloping pitchfork uh, on the monthly. We're above the center line uh, in this upper channel. Again, just uh, very, very, very strong. We've got one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven months of one time framing up where we've got higher lows on the monthly. And uh, we're above the nine and the twenty. Price is paralleling the nine quite nicely. Good slope, good separation. Trend is very strong on the monthly. On the weekly, <coughs> um, you know, you notice that the uh, that the weekly here, our week open last week was 24.99. We closed at 20, uh, 24.99.75. This week's open is uh, 24.99, and we're trading at 24.99.75. Talk about uh, fighting the centennial number at the 2500. Uh, but we are above the nine and the 20. We got a little bit of a technical gap. We have. Uh, violated the one time framing. We've got uh, one, two, three, four weeks of one time framing up. This is the first time that we've broken the low and the first clue that uh, uh, there is some weakness. And we've now put in another all time high at 25.09 and a quarter. Uh, test of the nine will bring us down to the 24.74 area, uh, but we're still in this upward channel. Uh, that is calculated on the daily. You can see that uh, you know we've been in this upward channel for quite some time. We do have a, uh, a bullish flag that's set up that we've been watching for the last week. We did break above it. We're coming back and we're coming uh, to test back inside of it and test the 9 EMA. So this will be a decision point. You really want to pay attention to how we handle this 24.97 now that we've got the micro composite VPOC shift on that. We are losing a little bit of slope and separation, but the trend is still very much intact on the daily. Going to the intraday, uh, we had that downward uh, trend going, and then we took it back in the Globex yesterday, continued up. Now we're coming back and we're testing, uh, you know, inside of the uh, the nine and uh, come po possibly coming down to test the 20 SMA. Again, there's that 97. Going to the 30 minute, or sorry, the one hour. See that we've broken below the nine and the 20. So we've got a possible change in trend on the four hour, I'm sorry, on the one hour. On the 30 minute, you can see it accelerates to the downside. Uh, we are below the nine and the 20. On the 15 minute, right, same thing. And on the five minute, Okay, uh, we've come down, we've been trending down, but now 
uh, off of this news, they come up and they're trying to test the, uh, the 20 SMA from below or above the nine right now. So, uh, you know, overall, the longer time frame trends are still up, but there is some weakness showing. Uh, you know, if you look at the composite, you know, we're above the value area, the longer time frame value area, that value area high on the microcomposite that runs from the 12th uh, is at 2502. Value area low is down at the 2491. Remember we were talking about how important that 91 was uh, beginning of the week and uh, you know, it is now our value area low. The microcomposite did shift yesterday to 97. So that's going to be a very important level for us to, uh, to watch. We're back inside of the, uh, the four-day uh, microcomposite value area, and the low of that is the 99 and a quarter, and the high is at uh, 2505.75, and uh, you know the microcomposite is at 2504.75, and we just fell off of that level, and we're coming back. And we're just uh, testing the value area high here of the last three days. Uh, this is a pretty blunt area, so it is a big possibility. You can see that we've got this uh, this uh, you know big wick from yesterday's uh, 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 move down, and then the uh, the buyer stepped in. So there's a good possibility we could get stuck in this wick. This is a pretty blunt looking profile. Uh, on the composite and needs to be matured. So we could see a very rotational day as we mature the auction and get stuck in this wick today, either, either in this wick or in this wick. We just don't know what. Uh, but as long as we're inside of this value area, I'm thinking we're going to get stuck or we're likely to chop between the 97 and the 2502 and, uh, and go sideways today. So take a look at the overnight. Overnight inventory is uh, about 70% net short. Uh, we're getting a bit of a double distribution. Most of the night we traded around that 2503 area uh, and we fell out of it uh, this morning on the news of Germany. And uh, we now are creating this, uh, this double distribution. Uh, pretty large LVN rate here. So if we get above the 2501 area, look for them to push up to that 2502. And remember, that's the uh, value area high uh, of the longer time frame microcomposite. Uh, and we could come through there pretty quick. Uh, there is the uh, LVN for the overnight at the 2501.50. So taking a look at our numbers and starting to move them over. Um, our overnight high, 2505.50. Our overnight low, again, we've been doing a lot of this. Uh, we could put in another uh, low. It's a bit of a weak low here at 24.99, but it is our current low, so I'll put it in. Our VPOC is not likely to change. It is at 25.03. <coughs> Our LVN here at 2501.50 It's going to be a trade area. I'm actually going to, yeah, no, I'm going to use the 2501.50 because it's right in between the mid and the, uh, the VWAP from yesterday. And then that's about all the information that we need from the overnight session. Uh, so as we put our numbers and our levels in, our overnight low of 24.99, our 20-period daily ATR is running at uh, 12.74. That's the full session, 20-period average to range. And that gives us an upward uh, ATR target of 25.11.75. Off of the high overnight of 2505.75, our 
Our downside daily ATR target is going to be 24.93. Very blunt looking profile from yesterday. Uh, our over underline is going to be our micro composite VPOC. Whoops, I mean to do that. I want to see us hold that uh, that level now. Uh, levels to pay attention to the twenty five oh two. Uh, 50. I'm using the the uh, 0150 because of the fact the LVN is there. I think once we're above that, we will hit that 0250, uh, but more likely come up into the you know the uh, four-day microcomposite VPOC and take out this naked uh, close and naked VPOC above. Uh, the one I'm going to be paying attention to is the 250575 which is just above the overnight high. Any breakout above that, I'm looking for a uh, move up into, first of all, the return to the 07 and a quarter, which is the prior uh, all-time high. 07 and a quarter, yeah. And then, obviously, a move up into the uh, 09 and a quarter, any breakout above that. We're looking for a move into the rule of uh, 10 and the inverted head and shoulder pattern that we've been watching for a while. Uh, on the downside, uh, you know, our over underline uh, is the 97. Below that, we're looking for a push down into the value area low down here and the prior microcomposite VPOC at 93.75. And then our key line in the sand doesn't change. It is down here at 87 and a quarter. And below that, we're starting to look and get a lot more uh, bearish uh, for move, more likely down into the 80-50 and a return to the 50% of the significant breakout candle. Don't forget that we still have gaps uh, all the way down in the, uh, the uh, 2460s. Uh, so anything below the key line in the sand, I'm looking for a bigger move down. Now, we're coming to the end of the quarter. We're coming into the end of the month. Uh, our month open is uh, 24.70 and a quarter using the continuous contract full session. That means that with two days trading and our daily average true range uh, at 20, uh, sorry, at 12.74, two days remaining, that gives us a uh, two-day ATR of 25.48, add that on to the 24.70 and a quarter, and our monthly critical mass is at 24.95.75. What does that mean? It means that during the course of the day, the longer we hold above the 24.95.75 critical mass could kick in, the sellers could capitulate and move away and uh, take the rest of the week off, the buyers could take control, and we can see this market uh, continue to drift in one direction up. So uh, very important to watch that critical mass, and of course that's just under our, uh, our over-under line of 97. So <clears throat> what is my hypothesis for the day? Uh, we have seen uh, some weakness uh, showing up, with that move down to the 93. Uh, so my main hypothesis, uh, we're below the uh, current uh, Globex VPOC. Uh, hypo one is going to be 
uh, open auction in range, in value, a push up into the 240405 area, chop around here, and then somewhere between here and the 2509, I'm looking for responsive sellers to rotate us down into this 97, come down into this 97, chop around in this area, possibly even a dip down into the 9375, but coming up and basing and uh, and finding some balance and chopping around and getting stuck trading between 24.97 and 25.05.50. That is hypo one. Hypo two is an open auction in range, in value, a push down into the uh, 93, 92 area, possibly even coming down to the key line in the sand, finding responsive buyers, rotating us back up, and then chopping between the 2505 and the 2497. I'm looking for a smaller range today, sideways uh, uh, action as we move into uh, the last trading day of the quarter and the month, which will be tomorrow. Um, hypo 3 is a open test drive, failure to take out the overnight low, push up into the 2404.75, chop in here, and then push up and uh, get capitulation, critical mass kick in, and we drift up into new all-time highs and take out that uh, uh, primary target on the inverted head and shoulder. That is hypo three. Hypo four is a chop open between the 24.98 and 25.02, and then failure, push down into the 93.75 chop here, and then fail and come down uh, into this 83 to 87, maybe even down to the 80.50 and get a trend day down as we come inside and stay within range of that uh, monthly uh, open at 24.70 and a quarter. Um, but that's less likely to happen. Uh, I think the hypo one and hypo two are you know, equally weighted. I know we've been saying that a lot lately and that's not usually the case, but we're just in this balance and likely to get a lot of rotations and a lot of sideways. And again, uh, high anticipation of getting stuck in this wick and accepting this uh, 2497 shift of the microcomposite VPOC. As we move forward to, uh, to gold, uh, gold failed uh, to hold the 1300s as we talked about yesterday. Um, and, you know, we're, we're still uh, trying to create a base, but we've got this composite VPOC down here at the 1275.50. We missed it by uh, about uh, nine bucks uh, overnight. We're currently uh, trading in the 87 area. The key area to watch is the retest down here at the 1283 area. If we fail to hold that, look for them to come down. First target is at 79. But the main target is down here at 7550. Uh, this is still acting as a uh, magnet. If we get above the 91 area, then look for the 94 and the retest of the 1297, 90, 127, uh, 1298 area, and a possible retest of the 1300s. But I think with the you know, the failure to hold the 1300s, uh, you know, for second day in a row that we're likely to have to come down lower to pick up uh, buyers down here at the compass of Depoc that goes all the way back to 2008. Anyway, that's going to complete our pre-market session. As always, trade safe, trade well, and we'll catch you on the flip side. Don't forget, if you're interested in checking out the room and, uh, and uh, trying the uh, session in the RTH with the uh, uh, real-time analysis and, and trading, uh, just send me an email at that quantumleapfutures at gmail.com. Have a good day, gang. We'll talk to you later.